Um, question number six. Oh, um, so how many everyone done question number six? And you kind of guess the answer here uh, from saying that this is an identity matrix. You're just going to get the same state back with this coefficient here, uh, which means, um, which means uh, this particular state, which is a mixture of a spin up and spin down, it still has, uh, it still has this uh, spin angular momentum magnitude. It doesn't have a spin zero. Um, and I was telling some of you that you can draw analogy between this and the um, polarization of light. Uh, if you recall back to when we did optics, I, this is precisely what I said. You could think of unpolarized light as ha having half of its intensity in the uh, vertical polarization and half of its intensity in the horizontal polarization. And um, <laughs> Kaoji objected to that description. And, um, and that objection is right. What I, well, it's wrong, right and wrong. It's wrong in the sense that all I said that you can think of it that way. But the objection is right in that if you had a combination of vertically polarized light and horizontally polarized light, you would not have unpolarized light. You would have a polarization that's diagonally polarized. And that's what you have here. When you have spin up, combination of spin up and spin down, you don't have uh, zero spin. You don't have unpolarized spin. You simply have a spin that's polarized in a different direction. Yeah, so uh, I'm not going to really get into unpolarized states. Unpolarized states are really complicated to deal with. If we want to look at how people handle unpolarized uh, or polarization or I guess incoherent quantum state, the only mathematical formalism that can handle that is something called density matrix formalism. And in fact, this is something that my research group worked a lot with because that's what AMO physics groups do. But um, that's, you know, that's even above upper division quantum mechanics. So it's only for people who are interested. 